the most celebrated nation of the people of Greek and Roman literature were the Indians of the land of Canaan, Israel. The land of Canaan was called India by the Greek and Roman poets who wrote their mythology stories. In the myths, these Indians angered the gods and were scattered out of the land of Canaan, Syria, never to be heard of for over two millennia. During the Roman Jewish Wars, the Indian Israelites were in the minds of the southern kingdom's tribes. They sought their alliance in their war against the Romans' war on the land of Judea. During the Middle Ages, European countries fought the Arab, Moors, and Turkish armies for Jerusalem. The Indians, Israelites, was sought by the Christian kingdoms for allies in their wars against the Muslim world. In the days of the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition, the Sephardic Jews sought out the lands of the Indians, Israelites, as a place of refuge from religious persecution in Europe. Christopher Columbus and other crypto or secret Jews used language that would not draw suspicion and attention from the Catholic Church by referring to the Israelites as Indians, a name they were known by in Greek mythology. This is the unveiling of the history of the children of Israel in secular literature, the way Columbus and the early Europeans understood them. As the discovery of the lost families of Israel was spoken about in a language in the age of the Inquisition by crypto-Jew to crypto-Jew without drawing the attention of the persecution of the Catholic Church's tribunals. This is the unveiling of the history of the children of Israel in secular literature, the way Greco-Israelites understood them, the way the Roman Israelites understood them, the way European Israelites and Christian European Israelites understood them, the way Spanish and Portuguese Israelites understood them. This is the unveiling of the history of the children of Israel as strangers or foreigners in strange or foreign lands. The ancient port city of Joppa, ancient Tel Aviv, the most important seaport of the ancient Hebrews. Joppa, meaning beauty. It was the port of the city of Jerusalem in the days of King Solomon. This important port city was a gateway for maritime ventures into the Mediterranean Sea and beyond, provided the Israelites access to the products of Greece, Egypt, Libya, Turkey, Italy, Spain, France, Britain, and the Americas. Land of Canaan, Israel, 1000 BC. Universal Center for Renovation, where the word is made flesh, presents historical and biblical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary, a biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, 2024. Tel Aviv, Yafo, sometimes rendered as Tel Aviv, Jaffa, and usually referred to as just Tel Aviv, is the most populous city in the Gushdan 
metropolitan area of Israel, located on the Israeli Mediterranean coastline, and with a population of 474,530, it is the economic and technological center of the country, and a global high-tech hub. If East Jerusalem is considered part of Israel, Tel Aviv is the country's second most populous city after Jerusalem. If not, Tel Aviv is the most populous city ahead of West Jerusalem. One of the names of Jaffa is the first Hebrew city. Jaffa, ancient port of Jaffa, where, according to the Bible, Jonah set sail into the Mediterranean Sea before being swallowed by a fish. Book of Jonah The Book of Jonah is one of the twelve minor prophets of the Naivim prophets. In the Hebrew Bible, in an individual book in the Christian Old Testament, the book tells of a Hebrew prophet named Jonah, son of Amittai, who was sent by God to prophesy the destruction of Nineveh, but attempts to escape his divine mission. Jonah, chapter 1, verse 3. New International Version. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Contemporary English Version Instead, Jonah ran from the Lord. He went to the seaport of Joppa and found a ship that was going to Spain. So he paid his fare, then got on the ship and sailed away to escape. The Port of Joppa, 2024 The Port of Joppa, 1000 BC The Upper Image, the modern port city of Joppa in 2024 And the Lower Image, the ancient city of Joppa, circa 1000 BC The Port of Joppa 1000 BC Jaffa, also called Jaffo or Joppa in English, is an ancient Levantine port city which is part of the Tel Aviv Jaffo Israel. Located in its southern part, the city sits atop a natural elevated outcrop on the Mediterranean coastline. Excavations at Jaffa indicate that the city was settled as early as the Early Bronze Age. The city is referenced in several ancient Egyptian and Assyrian documents. Biblically, Jaffa is noted as one of the boundaries of the tribe of Dan and as a port through which Lebanese cedars were imported for the construction of the temple in Jerusalem. Under Persian rule, Jaffa was given to the Phoenicians. The city features in the biblical story of Jonah and the Greek legend of Andromeda. Later, the city served as the major port of the Hasmonean Judea. However, its importance declined during the Roman period due to the construction of Caesarea. Jonah of the Bible Andromeda of Greek Legend Shades of Difference Mythologies of Skin Color in early modern England. Sujata Iyengar. Andromeda is Fusca, usually translated as dark 
or brown. Her native land is Ethiopia in a metamorphosis. But the Black Indies in the Ars Amatoria. Her parents, Cepheus and Cassiopeia, are the rulers of Ethiopia during the 16th and the 17th centuries, considered the home of the blackest people in the world. One must take note of the fact that the city of Joppa was also known in Greco-Roman literature as Ethiopia, the Black Indies, the Indies, and also India. So if we reread this passage, we can insert the word Joppa alongside the word Ethiopia and Black Indies, and we can certainly get a better understanding of the meaning in Roman Ovid's Metamorphosis and his Ars Amatoria. Joppa was located 34 miles from Jerusalem. The region of Joppa was known as the Black Indies, the Indies, and also Ethiopia to Greek and Roman writers. The Classical Journal, Volume 21, 1820, page 156. Quote, Perseus brought Andromeda from India, but Perseus did not bring his wife Andromeda from modern India, but from Joppa, a town in the land of Canaan. End quote. The region of Joppa in the land of Canaan, Israel, and Palestine was known as India to the Greek and Roman writers. Historical Sketches of the Ancient Negro, a compilation by Edward E. Carlyle and Josephine E. Carlyle. Canaan, the fourth son of Ham, settled what was known in the patriarchal ages as India and called it from his own name Canaan. The land of Canaan was called India. The history of all religions of the world, from the earliest records to the present time, with accounts of the ceremonies and customs, or the forms of worship, practiced by the several nations of the known world. William Birdner The land of Canaan was anciently called India. Joppa the port city of the Israelites, Jews, Phoenicians, the Ethiopians, Ethiopians, and Black Indians of Greek literature. Christopher Columbus was looking for the ancient Indians, the lost tribes of Israel, of the land of Canaan, or as the Greeks and Romans called the land, India, the Black Indies, and Ethiopia. So stay with us as we continue to explore in secular and biblical literature what the children of Israel were known as to the world as foreigners and strangers in strange or foreign lands throughout the earth. More to come.